Oh, yes. Congratulations, Corner. Kind of feels like a microaggression. Right? Yeah. I mean, listen, it's great news for Rick and Steve, of course, but, uh, but what's this? Sad. Yep. They're in. Congratulations, Corner! Anyway. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm Olivia. Hi, I'm Anna. Hi. Oh, look at that one. Those cheeks. Oh. I'm here for the hormones, so. Yeah, me too. Sucker over by. Did you get his name? Excuse me? Just shut up!
Anak nih. You know, I was an uh, anxious kid. I didn't really get um, any of the other kids at school. And my parents were so outgoing and fearless. They always thought there was something wrong with me. So I get it. I mean, I'm sorry. I kind of get it as much as I can get it. Okay. This one for you guys. So we can split this one. That way you have money left over and you get, you know, whatever I say. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> she got the idea from that big donation she's making. Wait, what donation? I am going to make a donation to the Heart Health Association in your father's name. And that way he's making <laughs> Wait, he, that was for us. He wanted us to have that. You're not giving it away? No, I'm still going to finish the week. I thought after everything, that would be the one thing that would make my life easier instead of harder. Honey, we talked about this. Germany. Um, That's so 
car. Lizzie Weddle. What else, Mom? Is this where you found it? It's cool, so we didn't find it here. You're not going to be in trouble. Is that true? She's right. If you just tell me where you found it, you won't be in any trouble. Over there. All right, my body is so fucking weird. Excuse the language. This morning I stopped bleeding. Tonight I um, started bleeding at like 8. I'm wearing like a panty liner thingy. Because I don't think it really bleeds on a regular pad, so... Right now, I'm just going to bed. I kind of have a headache from my bleeding, I guess. I'm going to take another Advil, you know, pain reliever or whatever they're called. It's a pain reliever. Labeled pain reliever in a Walgreens bottle. I took one earlier, but I still have a headache. So. Um. And tomorrow is Mommy's birthday. That would be a Sunday. Today is a Saturday. Or was a Saturday because I'm going to go to bed now. So. Yes, me and E and Piglet are going to bed. So a little bright, I'll look at that. Now I was told we're going to have thunderstorms tomorrow and Monday. <laughs> Chance of thunderstorms or whatever. So. 
I want to walk to the cafe and get myself a chicken dinner in, our, in honor of a uh, mom. So she liked chicken. That was her favorite um, food, favorite meal. So I'm going to finish getting ready for bed now. Go pee again. Take Tylenol, pain reliever, or whatever it is. I know it's not um, hydroprofen. Um, alrighty, so, see ya. Alright, my teeth are brushed. Fresh water in the bottle. And yes, I did take my, um, pain reliever. Ten and all. So today has been right here, the 28th. And my mommy is turning 72 tomorrow on the 29th. If she was healthy and alive and well, I would give her a big hug and a big, big kiss. Either a kiss here or right here. You know what I mean? Because that's what a mommy deserves. Anyway, I'm going to get myself undressed now because I sleep naked. Well, sort of, if I'm not bleeding down there. Um, sorry about the TMI again. And, um, and then I'm gonna play bingo, alrighty, because I forgot again today. I need to get those credits in daily. So I can have a large amount of credits each time. Alright. N45. I-23. B-14! Round over! We don't actually know each other. I thought I knew her from somewhere else, and she thought she knew me from somewhere else. We then say goodbye and part ways, but it was so weird because I could have sworn that I knew her, and she obviously thought that she knew me as well. The thing now is that I can't remember where I knew her from. I feel like we had a shared temporary experience like a summer camp or something. It could have just been a coincidence, but the feeling of knowing her was very strong. I had this multiple glitchy experience, but this happened a couple of days ago. I'm going to grab some coffee with a girl that I met recently, and she was leaving and saying goodbye, and I watched her get a fingerprint on the pillowcase did not appear to match the fingerprints on file for Robert Knight. We tried traditional photography, everything that we knew at that point in time, also to develop some contrast between the ridges and the fabric. But basically, those techniques were not satisfactory at that point in time. We, we couldn't get it to a point where we felt like we had an identifiable print. Scientists tried various chemical processes to improve the print on the pillowcase. But every time they enhanced it, they also enhanced the threads of the pillowcase. Investigators were no...